Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so very much for joining me. This is weekend updates where I tell you what's going on in my craft room, what came in, little snippets of things. We have happy mail, a bunch today, and I got a new punch. Noni and I have some adventures planned, so we need to make this video quick and get out there in the world. Someone that I know was doing a fundraiser and she sent me photos of how should I price this stuff. And so I gave her some pointers and then I said, oh, I think I'd like that one. I'm trying to find punches that I like that make tabs to pull things out of pockets and journals. And what I find is I had Noni make me some, but they were too big. By the time you get a little tiny journal going, and then sometimes I buy them and they're not at all what I thought they were gonna look like. So I think this one, I'm supposed to take it and fold it in half that way. Is that true? Let's try it. Let's try it one more way. I think you could also use it this way, but yeah, then it's, it's weird. It's weird looking but they need to be pretty small. So I thought I would try this out and for garage sale prices, not bad at all. And I didn't even have to go anywhere. I just had to respond to the text and help with a fundraiser. I have this card and I'm curious about this card because I have a super supportive subscriber who I know is Canadian, but I don't know her last name and I'm thinking this might be her, but it's pretty funny to get a happy 4th of July card from a Canadian. So let's see, let's see if I guessed right. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can I chop this up for my July daily? <laughs> it is gorgeous. It is Barb. Okay, that's confusing. You tricked me a little bit. It is from exactly who I thought it was from. This is just stunning. You can't quite tell, but this is layered on it and it has gold and silver. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm gonna just stick this in as a signature in my July Daily. And she has a wonderful quote in here. I'm gonna cover up her name. True patriotism springs from a belief in the dignity of the individual, freedom and equality, not only for Americans, but for all people on earth. And that was Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh, thank you so much. Should I call you Barb? or Brenda Elaine. I don't know. <laughs> oh, fun. She gave me her email too. Mr. Crafting and Relaxing and Wilson and I find 4th of July to be a bit tricky because Wilson does not do fireworks. So he has a calming collar on. I don't know if any of you have ever used those. They seem to work pretty well. He's not eating real well though. And I don't know if it's because uh, he's watching the cats eat the primo canned cat food because the tiny cat wasn't eating or if it's because he doesn't like carrots which i do know to be true and i tried to upgrade his food by mixing in some wet food that i noticed has carrots in it because there's a plate with kibble and carrots behind me <laughs> that's all that's left so fourth of july is a tricky time at our house but i do love it anyway Thank you so much for this gorgeous card. Love it. I started the signatures for my July daily. I, I haven't sewed them in yet though. So I'm going to tuck this right in there. Thank you so much. And it's so fun to know your name. Now I know. Okay. This is from Kathleen. I don't know what she's up to. Sharing some items from my stash that I thought you would appreciate. Ooh. So far, this is looking good. And it is fun when you clear stuff out. Just don't go buy me things, people. Oh, these are unbelievable. EK Success. Isn't it funny when you see something and you think, we could make that? So we can, but you better get started because it would take a while. So it's a really cute tag. They folded this down so it doesn't get messy. So it'll take me a while to flip it up. And then it has beadwork on the front and wire. You know, there was wire somewhere on my counter. I was moving it around. It came in a kit of something and I, I wasn't gonna use it. And eyelets, oh my gosh. This would take a while to assemble, super cool. And then it says snow. How cute will these be in December dailies? Oh my gosh. Okay, these are 
black stickers, which would be super cute and pop in a sewing journal. And I have a sewing journal UFO, and then I have a sewing journal that's listed on Etsy and hasn't gone out yet. So sometimes I shove in last minute things. Super cute, hot off the press, local company here. Always cracks me up. Oh my gosh, look at these. Okay, these would be cool. In De what? In December dailies. Holy cow. <gasps> Look at this color palette of basic gray. Oh my gosh. You thought I might like? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, no pink, not a splash of it. Let's see. Let's take a look in here. Oh, that is stunning. Wow, this is gorgeous. You could make just about anything. I could make December dailies and play up the red and green, play down the black a little. I could make any journal. This could be a dog journal, a cat journal. You could do a sewing journal. Oh, it would make a great travel journal. Oh, look at that. This is a knockout. Ooh, what about a fall gratitude journal? Look at these colors. And she sent me two packs. So if I make something and then go, oh, you know what I should have made with that? Oh my gosh, I love it, Kathleen. I know, it's ridiculous that I'm hooked on paper. They don't make anymore, but oh my gosh. Thank you so much. That's ridiculous. Look at those. It's a risque combination of Red, black, cream, and a touch of green blended into bold, courageous patterns. I would really like to know who the designers were on each one. Like, I wonder if I just follow the same people regardless of what companies they work for. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Kathleen. That is just stunning. Okay, then Tina, who is Crafty Bean here on YouTube, sent me a note that said she was dropping me some happy mail. And if you watch Tina, you know she is a bargain shopper. And she has an amazing creative reuse store near her. Okay, I think this is what I did last time. I think I sort of opened it upside down, so then you can't see. Okay, she did mention travel journals. Oh my gosh, look at those cute cameras. Life in pictures. I love that too. I am obsessed with photographs. Like I love them and I think that's part of how I got into scrapbooking. And life is short and you never know how long people or pets are gonna be around. If you take those pictures, you have them forever and ever and ever. Oh, you're about to see one of Tina's creations. Wait for it. Look at that. This is how Tina does cards. It is, okay. There's a blue star paper. There's a patterned berry paper with a cool pattern around the edge. Then there are colored strawberries and a patterned paper here and a ribbon on it. And over here is a ribbon, strawberry ribbon with like a red velvet. Hear it? Oh, it's wonderful. This is how she does them. They're all detailed and amazing. And then she has her stamp on the back. Sweet and delicious wishes. And she's decorated the inside. She knew I was going to make travel journals. So she sent me some stuff. She said, share whatever you, you know, won't use. Oh, look at these thank you stamps. These are cute. And that's a cute congratulations. These would be fun to stamp and then fussy cut out. You and me forever and, and have these as embellishments. It's really thick. Let's try and figure out why. Okay in full vacation mode, escape plan, take me away anytime. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. These are super cute in journals. Like this one, when you have a picture of your dog in your backyard and you're sitting there, yeah, that is a great one. Don't bother me, I'm on vacation. Again, that would be a fun one to stamp out and fussy cat. Life's adventure is waiting out there. Best vacation ever. Picture perfect, gone exploring, be right back. These would be good for crafty days. When Noni and I get in the car and go to Eugene, we're going to, I don't know, she made a crafty buying date for us and we're going to see a lady who had a garage sale, I think. 
Mecca is creative reuse down there. They're getting ready to move, so I don't know if we're gonna hit it just right, but life's adventure is waiting out there. You never know what's gonna happen. It, by the way, is supposed to be like 95 here today, so we do need to hurry home. Okay, ooh, look at these. Mm, printed photo mounting paper, six colors, 12 sheets. Oh, I see, blues and purples. Very much me, huh? Okay, here's another one. Ooh, it's all travel stuff. They are like punch outs or die cuts. Not sure if you can tell really well here. What is this? Shades of blue. Yeah, look at that. Look at those blues, great. Love it, woo! So this is Creative Memories and I'm not really familiar with their products these days, but wow, I would buy that. And then a vintage paper pack has some of these earthy tones. Great to pull in like travel suitcase colors and stuff. This is wonderful, Tina. I will probably need to share some of this. Look at these. Okay, so what I've started doing on some of these is I open them up and then I say, okay, will I use these all? The problem with this pack is I probably will say yes to all of them, but they're gorgeous winter papers with like stars and ornaments, super cool. Maybe I don't need two packs. Oh, look at this stuff. She's got all cut, oh my gosh. Look, okay, first focus. See, this is why I can't do big hauls on camera. Look at these, these are adorable. Art accents antique postcards. So maybe you could search for them if you want some. I don't, there's no date or anything, so I don't know how old those are. Those are super cool. I'm gonna set those right there and cut those out. These are fun. Ooh, these are cool because they'll go with absolutely everything, right? Oh, these are fun. Andrea might want some of these too because of that luscious green. And this would be great in nature journals and you've got a bee. Really cute. Oh my gosh. Look at all these. I haven't gotten into digitals. Uh, many of you have heard me say I don't have a printer. I just feel like that would be a slippery slope for me. Oh my gosh. So when you do send me some, I'm super excited. These are adorable. Absolutely adorable. Love them. Okay, here we go. Art Accents Collage Collection, self-adhesive, simply cut them out. Art Accents, and there's their website. Artaccents.net, 360, I think that's Washington. Look at these, Creative Memories Border Kit. So it's blue borders and stars. So what I'll do with these is I'll open them up and take them apart and keep every single piece of them. You know, maybe, maybe you'd see one in an envelope when you got a happy mail or something. I will open them up, I will put them in my piles, and probably some of them will show up in my July daily because these are great blues and you've got stars. Thank you so much, Tina. Okay, you guys, I do not need anything. I do not need anything, I'm spoiled rotten. And part of the reason I thought I should make this video before Noni and I got on the road is you never know what I'm gonna buy today and it's probably good for me to know what's already in this room. Thank you so much and thank you so much to all of you. It's just nice to know that you're thinking of me that you are watching my channel. I really, really appreciate that. I'm going to insert a picture of Nancy's July Daily. She doesn't post anywhere, but she shared it with me in email, and I asked her if I could post. Remember last week, she sent me a piece of the drawer liner that was the cover, and I just think it turned out super cute. The butterfly journals have all fluttered away to their homes, except for number one, and number five, there are flip throughs if you wanna check those out. You won't see these two items listed on Etsy. You'll message me or leave something in the comments and then we use the purchase item with a picture of Pooh. I decided that I didn't wanna list every journal individually. I finally got a little smarter about my Etsy listings and cut down on the time. There are lots of other individual items listed there too. I actually put some stuff in Etsy. There's a video coming out on Tuesday with an amazing bag of stuff that Mary gave me. You guys, you spoil me. And then Thursday is, I think Thursday, 30th, 
I don't know. I'll have to ask my friends because I'm probably going to be late again. So I better adjust that. Sometime this week is smash those small pads. I think I had a problem with that one last month too. So maybe I need to adjust my other video, the timing on my other video. Outside, I have gutters. I'm so excited. Have you ever been excited for gutters in your life? I have gutters. I haven't even set up the bus stop yet, but maybe I will. Usually I post a photo on Instagram in the spring and it's beautiful and nothing. I pulled the dirty table out of it so that it would get rained on and then there was not a drop of rain after that. I jinxed us, I think. It's okay, we were tired of the rain. I am, let's see, I'm working on putting my July daily together. I've been doing some major cleanups, but I'm in the middle, so it doesn't look good. My videos are gonna lag a bunch because I just, I have too many things going on and so I'm rolling them out. But look at this, I'll show you a peek. Look, that corner hasn't looked that good in I don't know how long. And I'm not done with it, but I'm sort of changing my idea for that corner. I don't think I'm gonna do updates videos in August, but then I'll come back with updates in September. I think that's it, I showed you everything. Now I've gotta get this cleaned up and get ready to head out. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you are taking time for crafting and relaxing and taking great care of yourself. Bye-bye.